welcome back to my channel well, what I have for you today is a really cute Dollar Tree farmhouse DIY for my laundry room I think this is going to be so pretty so let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this Dollar Tree farmhouse DIY for a laundry room okay you're going to need four of these five by seven picture frames um, I got the one that looks like wood I'm going to paint it and it has this um, matting in it I don't know that I'm gonna leave the matting in or not we'll see and then you're going to need some crafter square long dowels I think I'm going to be using this and just some of the um, craft sticks that are kind of wide from the Dollar Tree I've had this and I just put it in a Ziploc bag and then you're going to need some free printables. I'll put them in the description box below and I have it set up to where all you, I found it on Pinterest. All you have to do is just put your first name and email address and then you can download them one at a time. But it says wash and I just printed these out on cream cardstock. I think it's so cute. Fold with the little basket, dry with the clothespins and press. So I think this is going to be a lovely addition to my laundry room. And then I'm going to be using the Waverly Chalk Paint in Truffle. I love this stuff, I use it all the time. And probably some Cashew Waverly Chalk Paint. And then you'll need some uh, a pencil to trace around your designs unless you want to make these eight by 10. I want mine five by sevens. I'm going to be using my paper cutter to cut it out. You could use just scissors. Um, and then brushes to brush and probably to dry brush. So that, I think, and a glue gun with E6000. So let me go ahead and flip this down and we'll get started with this adorable farmhouse DIY for my laundry room from the Dollar Tree. Okay, I've taken the backs off all the frames and I just have them like this. And I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in truffle and open it up. And I'm going to get, I think, this paintbrush and just start painting this. You can do as much, you could drag it and give it not complete, or you can totally cover it. I think I'm going to cover mine. It changes it just a little bit. You really wouldn't even have to. You could just uh, dry brush it with another collar if you wanted. It's totally up to you what you do. And you could also sand some of this off. So um, I know you know what I'm doing. So for time purposes, I'm going to go ahead and paint all of my frames with this chalk paint and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have these all painted with that um, truffle Waverly chalk paint. It does, it dries very quickly. Um, I was thinking that I would do like I did a, a video a long time ago, a couple years ago, and um, I took wooden dowels and cut them down and painted them and then applied them to the front and it kind of gave it a really neat look but I don't think I want to do that this time so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in cashew and I'm going to pour a little bit out in my plate I really don't need a lot I'm going to get into this brush I think I'm going to use this my other brush I always call my well-loved brush is a little too well loved <laughs> Okay, and then I just want to take it and drag it down through here like this. I think that's so pretty. You could put as much or as little on here as you want. But I love how that looks. It almost looks like those frames from the Dollar Tree um, that I hauled recently. Except I think theirs is a little more gray than this. But since I printed mine out on that, oh, I didn't pounce that off enough. Since I uh, printed mine off on that. cardstock that is cream, I think that it will look really good. 
okay? And I just want it to look really kind of old and weathered. Like I said, you can put as much or as little on as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this, but you can see the effect it gives. If you get too much on, you can wipe it off or you could sand it off with a little bit of a sanding block uh, like I picked up from the Dollar Tree. It would probably even age it more. Um, but just make sure you dab yours off. I'm not even being particular as you can see how I do it. It's just random. I think it does look better maybe the less you put on, but it's total preference. But don't forget to get all the way around these um, little frames, okay? So when I get these finished, I'll okay, be back. I've got these uh, finished. To me, they just look very distressed and old. You can do them however you want. Then I took my little printables and cut them down. I just took my glass, laid it on top, and traced around it. Um, you can do it that way. You can trace around the cardboard. It doesn't matter. Um, but on this one, I actually, I didn't use the glass. That's what I normally do. I traced, I put this upside down and just traced it because I wanted these to be a little bit smaller. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just get some clear tape. And this is totally, I mean, you wouldn't have to do this at all. And I'm gonna flip it over on the back and just put some tape down. If you wanna cut it the right size, you definitely can. But I just wanted mine to be a little different this time. Okay, and I won't have you watch me put this all on. When I get it where I want it, I'm going to put it I'm going to pop my glass back in. And see, you really can't tell that I even did that. It's just barely noticeable, and that's what I wanted, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pop the rest of these in, and then when I get finished, I'll be back. Okay, I have these in, and if you wanted, you could definitely just hang them like this, but I think the colors look so pretty. But I want to make like a set, like it looks like it's they're actually attached to one another, but I think they're really pretty. And like I said, you could paint, you could print this out on white or whatever color you wanted. I just like this for my color scheme. So what I want to do is now flip these over. I definitely want the top to be the same. And I'm going to take this off. Just tear this off. Because we don't need this with what we're going to do. Okay, then we're going to line this back up and I'm going to line it to where the top is even because to me, that's the most important thing. Okay, then I'm going to take these large uh, craft sticks. You take paint stir sticks, that would work as well. And I am just going to give this support down through here as much as possible because I don't want to have any trouble. I think I'm still, when my husband comes home, I'm going to put this, I'm gonna do it like this, and then I'm going to use some E6000 and adhere it to 
a larger board that we can hang it from. That's what my plan is, okay? Okay, I'm just going to put a liberal amount of glue down through here. And put it right there and press it down. Okay. And this will give it more stability. But like I said, I do want to put that on another piece of wood because I would not want this to fall and then the gra glass to break and then maybe Maggie get in there or us get in there and get cut. That is not what I want, okay? So I'm going to split the difference on this. So we'll have much more support. Okay, let's take a look okay, at it. Okay, here it is, but like I said, I'm going to take that large board and put E6000 and hot glue and, and attach it that way so it'll be very secure out in my laundry room. But I think this is so pretty and I will put the link to the free printables in the description box. I just love this little DIY for my um, laundry room and it's all from the Dollar Tree except totally free printables. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you on Monday for a Cricut uh, DIY. And it may or may not have anything to do with uh, the Dollar Tree, then Tuesday another Dollar Tree DIY will have. So until next time, bye guys. Okay guys, I thought I'd hop on here. This isn't where I'm going to put it, but I just wanted to give you a better look of how I think it's going to go in here. I really think it turned out really cute. I love those free printables and those Dollar Tree frames. And once I get it on that wood, it will be very secure. So, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Bye, guys.